so just for the sake of recording you all are okay we know you recorded right? yeah so you uh, i had posed the question would you give up research to stop it and you said yes to stop that horrible thing. so the question becomes yes rape is horrible but what makes it horrible the lack of consent yeah. violence okay the violence of course so violence in what sense physical or mental I think both everything goes hand in hand, right? All right. So I mean, we define rape as lack of consent, but consent wouldn't be the only thing, because let's say someone were to steal your phone, they took something from you without your consent, yeah. without your permission. But we don't put stealing and raping on the same level. Yeah. That's why there is the element of you know, physical violence and mental trauma. So would you wish that pain upon anyone? No. In any circumstance. No. Would you ever justify it? this question leading up to it will lead up to a lot of things okay. and i am coming to that okay okay so let me present you a hypothetical situation okay in this hypothetical situation a person is about to rape someone okay and this to be rapist you had a chance to talk to them okay they will listen to logic and reasoning if we if we can tell them good logic good reasoning you can rely upon ethics and morality why they shouldn't do it they would never do it in their life Okay. So, what would you tell them? That there are other avenues to pursue to receive the same gratification that this might give you. I mean, because we understand that maybe we think that they're doing this with a motive. Like sometimes it's motivated by like anger towards someone, yeah. or you know, or. a lot of different things but if you showed someone like in a psychological perspective you might call it sublimation right okay. so you can say instead of putting your energy towards this violent and action that's going to hurt someone and you know yourself too yeah. in the long run why yeah. not put, direct this anger or these emotions in another way like express yourself maybe through art maybe through physical activity or something else so, so what if they say for the sake of it it's not because of anger it is because i enjoy the art then maybe again taking another more of a psychotherapy approach and yeah. to uh, understanding what mo- this this would be their motive so what motivates them why it motivates them getting down to the emotion that the pleasure of it you would yeah. have to sublimate that pleasure with probably the right um, activities or something maybe or a change in this Yeah, but so what about people who do find pleasure out of violence? Violence. That is. Yeah, I I don't know. There's no. I mean, they don't necessarily it. enjoy the violence. Just the act. How yeah. they feel about. So they are getting sexual gratification out of it. Yeah. Is what you're saying? Yeah. But uh, over here, in your answer, let's say there is nothing else which can compensate for what they are experiencing. Would it then be justified to do it? No. Of course Because not. They are not the no. only person involved in it. There's other whole, whole other human being. There. Even even if it's like people who don't just do it to human beings, there are other human beings being, involved. Yeah, involved, beings. Right? That's the word. So, still uh, we couldn't figure out like. Look for alternatives wouldn't always work because if someone is only deriving pleasure out of this, what can we logically tell them? Push them to get help, like but push yeah, them. Yeah, but then help also if like, what do you do? I don't know. It's a it's a conundrum kind of like Schrodinger's cat. It's you can't tell an exact thing like it, the cat exists and doesn't exist at the same time. So. There is an answer, but there also isn't a complete. But still, at least present me that answer. So let's see if that logic works or not. Yeah. So I think I'd still go with my response to say like sublimation would be my best way to put it across. I mean, I, I don't really know what to tell someone if there is no other way of getting to what they want. But my the best way I can attempt yeah. to respond to it is sublimation. How about you, boss? Do you agree with her, or do you have some other points? I mean, your question is if they, if this person like does not have anything else that will give them the same kind of 
pleasure. feeling or yeah. pleasure or whatever. Again, I would say the same thing. Um, like, you want me to convince them to not do it or what? So they would be convinced with any good logic or reason. But provide. why are we convinced? Otherwise, that would be a victim. Okay. That's all. So they uh, you don't need to convince them. You just need to provide them the logical answer. Why even when the logical uh, answer is they are not the only being as she said they are not the only being involved in the act. There's a whole other being and you are taking you are taking away like so much from this other being by doing whatever you're doing and right. yeah. So let me present you another hypothetical situation. Okay. Where instead of raping a human, yes, you know, yes. they were raping so we an animal. That. Still the same thing. Would you say the same things for that as well? Yeah. yeah. Would you say the three reasons why? Yeah, you were saying something. No, no, no. Sorry, I was going to cycle back to what you said. So, so you remember the three reasons why, which we initially discussed why rape was immoral: the lack of consent, the physical abuse, and the mental trauma. Would you say that also applies to animals? Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Would you say raping an animal is cruel? Yes. How do you define cruelty? Cruelty would be any sort of any sort of behavior towards the animal that results in its you know, its harm, whether physical or psychological, in you know, in terms of be it neglect or So I was asking about cruelty in general, would you agree with her definition? Yes. So I feel that definition, while it is almost there, there are a few loopholes. Let's quickly patch it. You see this piercing, right? So when I got it done, it hurt me for half a second. It caused me pain. Would you say that that was cruel? You chose but no. you chose, chose it. You had this agency concept. over your own body. Which... All right. And uh, you know, Another example would be like over here that I gave my consent, so that's why you won't call it. Another example would be you know when kids are young, yeah. and parents forcefully take them to the dentist. They don't want to go. They haven't consented for it, but the dentist would still operate in their oral cavity. It would hurt the kid as well. Yeah. Would you say that act is cruel? Um, I think okay. we're equating two very different no, things no. here. I'm asking just that act in itself because I'm trying to fix. A loophole in the definition, so that's why I'm asking. Would and you say it, that? No, act but is the cool? whole point of you know, doing something to another being or facilitating the doing yeah. to another being without consent, there is a level of power that parents hold over their children, and definitely that can be misused in a lot of circumstances. And the same power play comes into question with uh, a pet parent as well, or anyone who's responsible towards a pet. Okay. But. No, I, I don't think that would count as cruelty unless Why not? Why not? Yeah. Why is it bad to take your child to the dentist? No, I'm asking that uh, in one case we said harming someone, causing them pain was cruel until and unless they gave consent. So what is the one thing that is missing or is the present in this example? That is why we are not calling it cruel. So I think better the, well-being in future. Well-being so, well yeah. in health. Yeah, because see, there are consequences, right? Everything comes with a consequence yeah. for the child. Because the reason we ask the parents for consent is because we deem the child unable to give consent at that point, that age, right? So okay. when the child is a minor, much younger than you know, you're three or uh, let's say not even three because that might be the common. Yeah. Let's say about 10, 11, you ask the parent, can I operate on your child's teeth? Because you know, if I don't then you know they need braces and their teeth are going to come out wonky it's going to affect their future they won't be able to eat things like that but and it's difficult to equate it to something like this because yes there is um, psychological violence involved yeah. because you know if it hurts too much yeah or if it you know if the child's like there's something wrong with their uh, pain structure or something happens that can be Anything that can happen, their heart can stop in between, if they're diabetic or anything, yeah. right? There are plethora of things that can happen at that point that gives the child trauma regarding this. But I don't think they would blame the person. They might, no way to say they won't. But I don't think we can equate it to something as 
we can't put it on the same uh, ground as rape or animal cruelty because it's not first of all the chi- we acknowledge that humans are different from animals right so humans although we are social animals or social beings there's no way to uh, we aren't equating the child as an animal right we're not saying we will treat the uh, child firstly as i asked how do you define cruelty not animal cruelty no no i mean going back to what and we were talking uh, again about. another thing is i'm not trying to equate going to the dentist as rape okay what i'm saying is we had a definition from uh, for cruelty and i feel there was a loophole in that to okay. which he gave the answer okay. saying that it was for their betterment so now for example you know vehicles are coming in the, on this road and let's say a grown man was in front of the vehicle and the vehicle was about to hit them and if someone goes and push them off right we, even if they scratch their elbow we wouldn't call it cruel because the intentions matter yeah. right so when the consent cannot be given would you say that intentions also matter yeah because yeah. it's like would you personally like harm a disabled person or because they are not able to if you are asking let's say there's a blind person walking on the road yeah. and you want to walk around him but you are unable to the streets yeah. narrow so would you physically push them aside or would you and you are in a hurry so would you physically push them aside and or would you ask them very nicely that hey excuse me identify yourself and say you know can you please move aside i'm trying to move around yeah. you would you would tell them right that yeah. hey i'm here i don't want you to be afraid but i need to go around you and i'm in a hurry so do you mind so that i think that would be the sort of so now coming back to the definition of cruelty that we all came up with that is to hurt someone until unless they gave consent for it hurting could be physical emotional mental psychological any of those okay until unless they gave consent and if they couldn't give consent if the intention was actually for their better when we knew very well what we were trying to do if something does not pass that that is when we call it it's cruel right yeah okay so when we apply this definition to the act of raping an animal can we say that it is definitely cruel of course 100% would you say that it is a clear case of animal cruelty yes, yes. <laughs> are you against animal cruelty yes Yes. <laughs> Can you give me a few examples of animal cruelty that you are against? All kinds of animal cruelty. I don't know. Just like just like you said, raping an animal. Yeah. What else? I don't know. Okay. You want to talk about like factory farming? Yeah. Totally up to you. You give me the examples. I. It's a open question. I you mean, could tell me anything. What comes under animal cruelty? Yeah. Like you mentioned, neglect, neglect, uh, mm-hmm. or like intentionally. Like Abandoned. there are lots of abandonment. There are people who intentionally go and harm animals, like hurt them, like physically. I don't want to describe it because I'll start crying. I don't like that. Yeah. How about you? Can you think of any example? Think of something that does not involve dogs or cats. Um, most animals, I don't. I wouldn't want to. aging them yeah aging them for like entertainment yeah putting them to an uncomfortable animal tourist destinations yeah. or i mean it's yeah. make it a stretch and say that um, you know yeah. it, 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 inseminating it, cows or hmm. pigs would generally might count as that but then we do that for we call it animal husbandry so Isn't that nice way of saying that we are raping an animal? That's true. I mean, we are, but uh, a again. lot of discourse actually does count uh, animal husbandry yes. as yes. sexual violence. It is definitely, yeah. uh, including consumption of meat, including yes. consumption of dairy production. So let me present you with some examples of animal cruelty. You let me know if you agree or disagree that it is cruel. So starting with enslaving animals. could it for entertainment could it be for transportation could it for testing upon them yeah yeah so be it zoo circuses yeah. horse riding dog fighting jalli kattu or using horses not just as tourist places but even on a regular place be it bullock carts elephant rides camel rides all of those yeah yeah animal testing absolutely yeah what about when we use animals for fashion 
yeah, or a status symbol. Like, like going for their skin, leather, yes. silk. Yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. yeah. I'd say, see, with leather, uh, the thing is, so there are lots of things that come into play when it comes to leather. Okay. Because uh, when it comes to cow leather or any um, animal that is, you know, farmed or husbanded, generally what happens is that you use the leather that is made, not, you don't kill a cow for its hide. Usually the cows that die for leather are older and they cannot be used anymore or they're disabled and then people again it's seen as an act of kindness that people kill them and this one it's i mean you would say uh, you put an old man eater this were these were older dogs right yeah you put a man eater out of its misery by killing it because it cannot eat it cannot fend for itself and there's no way to domesticate the animal out of your kindness right you can't domesticate a wild animal that is no longer able to use its teeth unless you operate on it and now there are things but older in kinds uh, i'm talking were, about now where you know cows are firstly already domesticated yeah and when we say when we cannot use them any further don't you feel there is something wrong in using another being i mean definitely but see the problem is that humans have already domesticated animals to the point where we rely on as indians we rely on dairy so much can we stop it completely the answer is no because you're cutting out a large part of your um, diet right so this there are lots of things in world but we can't i was just, talking about leather yeah. not dairy but i know leather but dairy leather is a by product of the dairy industry itself right there is no way to remove both a non uh, a cow that is no longer serviceable for the dairy industry is definitely put into the leather industry so okay. there is that there is most other animals as well sable fur is no longer allowed fox fur is i know it's certain people like uh, certain brands still try to use it but the point is most of us try Wait, not to you mean fox as in f a u x or f o x f o x like the animal okay. fox people used to wear them as scarves and there's the whole 101 dalmatians thing about dog puppy yeah this dog but puppies particularly puppies because it's yeah, soft i mean i don't know i won't i mean there are many fashion brands that still use cat and dog fur Okay. I don't think it matters which animal it is. Yeah. Still, is no, but I, as she was mentioning, that's why I'm saying, like, from yeah. the animal's perspective, they don't care why we are killing them or why we are torturing them. Yeah. So there's that. I mean, this is each animal has its use in, like, uh, you know, the anthropological uses within our society are different and varied, but. Yeah, the most common ex- uh, this one example I wanted to tell you is cows. Either you use them first, you use them for dairy or farming. When they start to this one is when like that's how the cycle was, right? We read papers that talked about this. But as you mentioned, that over here there is another bee involved. It's no longer just your choice where someone else is involved, right? Do you think any animal which is killed for their skin willingly wants to die? or we force our choices upon them it's cause see this is it, it's an anthropomorphic world it's our us for enforcing because we know right it goes back to descartes saying i think therefore i am therefore that egotistical approach of us towards all beings all other beings that we view as lesser than us becomes our view towards life right so we want to control everything that control is also exerted in this form okay right, so like right now it's only five of us speaking yeah. So let's not talk about other people. Let's talk about our own actions. Do you think that when our choices have someone else involved, especially when there was no consent involved, and there was a clear master-slave dynamic going on, there was a clear power dynamic going on? Yes. Yeah. Do you think that we should still stick with the way things are, where someone is being exploited because of our choices? Do we think that no? That is very obvious. I would feel like. Do we think that we should stick with that? I think no. not. But then and also, there's no nuance to it. I don't think. Yeah, and also the question of do we have the power to stop it? How many of us will it take? If it's just five of us, and we have the economic, the political, the social, and other sources of power to overcome the 
natural red tapes that are going to come up when we attempt to do something yeah. is it going to be powerful enough to like yeah. overcome everything because everything nowadays has red tape there's no way i can go and like even now if you say i want to stay to protest here can you do it and say i want people to stop um, let's say i want the let's say something like i want the bmrcl construction to happen faster because i need to get to i need to get to hsr layout and i can't so and I mean, you can always seek for the permission but over here the difference becomes over there you are dependent upon someone to make that action right yeah do you think that you all individuals have the power to choose what you consume yeah we do yeah okay just had a vegan lunch yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I mean, even if we are having vegan lunch, it's the same story. Like you grow those soya beans, you're chopping down the tree. There is always some tree, sort like. of you know, one. Okay, one I'll come to the soya beans again. Now I'm not asking you to eat soya beans. Yeah. Saying like, what are the choices that are actually making a difference? No, exactly. What, I'm asking what are right the choices now? that are making a difference? So we will still be right having now. an ecological yeah. impact and a political impact. For instance, if you want to stop leather farming and leather production, yeah. yes, it is cool. to um, you know the cows and everything but if we need to enact that you know on a global level then we also need governments to get involved because right now there are also people who depend on this for their lives yeah. people so who for why... instance are creating leather come from very uh, economically uh, disadvantaged and uh, also culturally uh, disadvantaged communities yeah. right i don't so, deny that and that's why i'm not talking to them i'm talking to the consumers yes. right So we as consumers. So your okay. Go on. What is? You can finish. So are we talking about the? Like he said, I just want to ask you, so we yeah. can like have a better conversation. What do you think are the choices that we make that actually matter? Would okay. make a difference. So, uh, before uh, uh, answering that, now remember the hypothetical that I gave you, where a person is about to commit the crime, right? Now, if they were to tell you. and i'm not trying to answer your question with a question okay i will definitely answer your question it's just that i'm explaining that thing with the analogy if that to be rapist comes and tells us you know what i can definitely stop raping but look at the number of rapes that happen all throughout the world would i really make a difference of course not i mean look at the plastic pollution now i have a plastic wrapper in my pocket if i throw it on the road or i throw it in the dustbin it would hardly make a difference but what is the better choice to throw it in the dustbin from the victim's perspective who was about to be raped will it not make a hell lot of a difference for them and when we talk about government lobbying and red tape when would government listen to us when we are fringe minority or when it's five more people than yesterday who will actually make a change right how is this choice any better is what i want okay put yourself in the victim's position who is Would you just change? Is what I am saying. So, would it be file less people, uh, you know, funding the victim no, status? That is true, of course, that's true. But there would be a newer victim. Or How would that be a newer? I am so sorry, but yeah. we also have another thing to change. Can we help this up? Yeah. So that's what I am asking. How do you think that number of victims will go up? There is now, no quantitative. Now you mentioned about soya beans. Can we? And uh, continue someone's exploitation because of soya beans. I don't think that's what he meant that when he here. said soya beans. That was a whole other. No, yeah. uh, allow me to explain. When we mentioned about soya beans, that is what comes from like. No, no. What he meant to say was when we are replacing dairy farming with soya farming, yeah. that damages the environment. Okay. So, so soya. Some and, other animals would go extinct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, some okay. new animals will go so, into no, the uh, I am, so there are I am only going to speak from the victim's perspective to yeah. which So in my mind is also being yeah. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay. I'm going to talk from the victim's perspective where these animals which are part of the environment are the victims, right? Okay, so um can I please okay. So when we talk about soya bean okay. farm, right? Most of the soya in the world is grown to feed the animals which will consume very aware of that yes but yeah. go on so if our reliant upon animals go down the amount of soya that we would have to grow will also go down agree yeah there's nobody here to say thing with you no so what was the point about soya bean farming in that case the point is still some forest goes away and still some animal goes away you can't okay. just quantify 
So this cow getting saved is equal to those two monkeys dying. So how would two monkeys like? Where did these two monkeys come from? He's not saying two monkeys will actually die by. But yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. like one thing you for one thing to the other. You can end. exist in a world where no animal exists and humans only humans are on the planet and they are happy. They have manufactured everything they want and all of them are happy now. Who is even the victim here? Do animals even exist? Do you so want? Here's that? the thing. So do we chase them off the existence, That's or do they die naturally? Over here, what we are doing is we there are is nothing natural. It's all manufactured, is what I am saying. Okay. Through what I am asking is, you manufacture it. What I am asking, what I am asking is, when you mention that animals disappearing, how are they disappearing? That is what I am trying to seek the clarity about. Yes, what we are doing are to the animals? They are disappearing through human consent. Humans are choosing that let's make all animals disappear. We will live on the planet. So it will be a happy world. Every human on the planet will be happy. End But tell me, do you value consent? Do you value agency? And yes. when you do value, what is happening to the animals when we don't value it? Okay, I think all of us are agreeing we on are the same on thing. Exactly. We are on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. thing is, I'm seeing that there is some defense coming. There is no defense on your part. Yeah, I know. No, I think we're all trying to get to the same point, but from yeah. different yeah. perspectives. Yeah, yeah. We so are all trying to be conscious consumers, yeah. but mm -hmm. until and unless there are policy makers who are enacting change okay. there is only some level yes that plastic wrapper is the change that we are trying to make right now yeah. but until and unless we make it possible through policy for everybody to throw their plastic wrappers in the dustbin yeah. not just policy but also follow through by follow lawmakers yes, and exactly. uh, we, we need it yeah, we need change to be enacted on the larger scale of course and no. how much so yeah go just ahead. the five of us yeah another extremely hypothetical extremely hypothetical scenario i can choose to not drive a car i can choose not to go on like a two wheeler but are is my carbon emission and somebody who's taking a private jet is are are we on the same level i'm not Me here to talk about change. environment no i know but we are talking are about change, change. and yeah. like, like so she just mentioned yeah. that's a lot more involved involved right like she just yeah, said she pointed out so many things yeah so over here what i'm saying is do we firstly agree that the, when we do rely upon animal produce there we is do. a all of us agree yeah. yes no, is there a victim involved Yes. yes there is a victim yes. so involved so do we need the government to tell us don't consume them or we have the power to say that we won't consume them? we need both we need to start with ourselves but yeah. we also need to put pressure on yeah. the government yeah. to make I it think, easier for people yeah. to make better choices yes. and i think Obviously, she also said have, that yeah. there are so many other minority like minorities involved in the production of so many things so that you, you just as you as an individual will not be able to stop leather production Right? Or you, as an individual, can only choose to stop buying leather shoes. But you cannot provide a livelihood for the people who are creating leather Goods. for a living. Yeah. So that is the responsibility of policymakers and government. Yeah, fine. What I am asking is, in yes, the supply and doing, demand. Yes, we are also doing. Yes, we are also reducing our own consumption. Definitely. Yes. Consumption of animal products, leather. So when we say we are reducing, it's just minimizing the harm. When we still go for animal produce, we are still not respecting their bodily autonomy. Who is going for animal produce? What animal produce are we talking about? No, I am saying that if you say we are reducing animal produce, I am asking you what are you talking about when you say animal produce? That is up to her to figure out because she made the point that I am reducing. I am completely stopping consumption of animal. Okay, so yeah. I have thrown my plastic wrapper in the dust. Now, that is all it is about. About okay. acknowledging that. I think we, we've been saying the same thing for the last twenty yeah. minutes of this conversation. Sure. And yeah. So yeah. yeah. So, so if that's yeah. so that be enough for. No, it's not that I'm here to judge you, but do you consume animal produce? Yeah, yes. I won't say no. Yeah. When it is unavoidable for us. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think I think see uh, when you go deep down into it, everything you consume is animal produce, right down to the fuels, the fossil fuels. By the okay. way, are actually animal products. It's yeah. just that the dinosaurs, this one. So fossil yeah. fuels goes yeah. down to oil, the oil industry. There, there's a lot of things to get down to. So I think on a base level, we are consuming animal products to stay alive on a day-to-day -day basis. There's no way not to. But unlike oil. 
are we taking consent over here? Those are already dead, long ago, even before we existed. Still, um, I'm sorry to put this across in yeah. such a harsh way, but when a uh, corpse is dead, when necrophilia is done in morgues, yeah. do they ask the consent of the corpse? No. No, right? They still do it, right? Yeah. Is there a way to stop it? That's true. Is, it, is there a way yeah. to stop it? Will you find a person, a good... How can you be sure that when a male presenting person's body is laid to rest in a morgue that it is not defiled? Or why are we only looking at uh, male predators of female? Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, of this one. So there, there are... Uh, what we're trying to say is everything is layered we're not saying that there is no consumption at all for a living on a day-to-day -day basis. Even the production of this phone, the plastic, the string, everything is human uh, humans making use of animals. So, okay. yeah, that's that's. that's How is the screen coming from animals? The screen coming from animals. See, we're polluting the in uh, we're polluting the environment. So either way, we're harming ourselves and animals. Yeah. Doing, when I'm right? saying directly harming an animal. What Directly happens when we do It doesn't consume. necessarily need to be there. Right? There are so many different ways. Of so, so I'm talking about when we directly hurt animals. Okay. In our actions. Now, I'm, I'm so I'm, sorry, but it's 5.30. I have to call a hard stop for this. Yeah. So really we, we really need to finish some work before. So, I just want yeah. Problem. It's been a great conversation we've had. But yeah. yeah we can leave it. We can, can, yeah. But, but I, I definitely think we all agree with it. I think we are all saying the same thing. Yes. Yeah. And we all so, agree. It was not just about saying not like I don't mean to come in a wrong way. Yeah. What I'm saying is do we take the accountability of our actions when yes, we, we directly yeah. go for animals? Yes, we do. Yeah. And when we say we are against animal cruelty. Yes, I personally hold me accountable. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I take a wholeheartedly yeah. agreeing that you can hold us accountable for animal cruelty. Mm, yeah. Not me. Yeah. You yourselves. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So that's the thing, like if we are against animal cruelty, let's not participate in it. Okay. I mean, to the best of our yes. ability, sure. What do you think is, according to you, the best of your ability? Uh, the best of my ability is by taking care of animals. I have a few cats, stray cats that come to my house. So anim uh, not participating in animal cruelty for me is providing them with food, shelter, and a decent environment in which they can live freely and without abuse and doing my best when it comes to the environment like we segregate our waste, we segregate again I know this is another point to talk about but we don't really have the time we segregate our waste, make sure we are doing our best like reducing our carbon footprint, turning off lights when you can turning off the gas, not using vehicles yeah. that's it no. Would you say that? I'm really sorry yeah. again. This is really I'm asking the last question. Yeah. Okay. Can you please wrap this up? Yeah. This, this, yeah. yeah. Would you say that going vegan would be the number one way of not participating um, in the animal cruelty? No, because happens? veganism itself comes with a lot of environmental issues and problems in its in and of itself. I can't go into it because I don't have the data, but yeah. the data does show that it is equally as this one. Humans being on the this one has no. Uh, the, has no change on the degradation of the environment because it was eventually going to happen after the dinosaurs. I mean, no, we really, I mean, really if you had the studies yeah. later on, would you send it across so that we can actually get down to it? Because sure that is an empirical are, game. Are, see, there is a, an empirical game. Yeah, there's previous uh, US that has yeah, all no, this. I'm, I'm asking, like, after this conversation, I know you are getting late. Yeah. Would you send me the links to those studies? I mean, I don't have the links per se, but they are on PBS. They're all on yeah, YouTube. So you, I, I can see, send you, you a study you, you, that talks about yeah. Yeah, animal yeah, husbandry yeah. and sexual politics. It's called the sexual politics of, of me by yeah. Carol J. Adams. Yeah, so we can share sure. relevant articles. But I'm not talking about YouTube things. I'm asking about peer-reviewed scientific studies. Would um, you share that across later on after this conversation? And Once if I have you get the time, done. sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah.